here with No Studios Live. We have taken the show on the road. We are at Sherman Phoenix to see what this is all about because we are gearing up for Dance Fest, which happens here in a week. And so let's learn a little bit about Sherman Phoenix, the great community that exists here, and all the fun things there are to do and lots and lots of really good eats. All right, so first, I, it is my pleasure to meet Joanne Sevier, co-developer of Sherman Phoenix. Absolutely. For someone who hasn't been here before, what do we need to know? Why should someone come down? You know, someone should come down and first, so happy to have you here. Just, this is an inspired space, so it's not just a place where you can eat, do yoga, have coffee, pizza, but it's really an opportunity to invest in the neighborhood. And it's a cultural experience. So we have Dance Fest, which will be here, which our hope is that this is just one point of possibility that we're able to curate space. Yeah. So when you come in, you can have ice cream, yeah. a little pizza on top, some yeah. vegan food, yeah. and then you can have a cultural experience, which is a true expression of all that is great and all the assets in our community. So our hope is that this becomes a hub for not just folks who are directly um, living in here, living in the neighborhood, but all who really live, work, and serve yeah. in our beautiful state. Yeah, I love it. I love the inspiration. This is actually my first time here. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so excited. And as soon as I walked in the doors, like the vibe hit me. It's vibrant. There are people here. They're working, so it's kind of like a coffee shop. But then I saw I can do my yoga. I can get my spices. I can do, get my little shopping on. So there's something, and I was like, I gotta bring the the family because there's something for like you know people of all ages that's it that's what we have to think about what can't you get on amazon you know you can't get this sense of community that's and you walk point. in a building and you feel nurtured yeah so that is what we're trying to create so to hear you say that i love it we're doing something right i love it we'll score yes, <laughs> you did that very well um okay so now you mentioned dance fest is going to be here yes. and it's actually happening like right where we are you can actually imagine we're gonna have Al Alvin Ailey dancers, dancers from all over the, the community yes. performing right here. Give us a visual of how this place is gonna transform on that day. It is going to be filled with hundreds of folks. So that's when we thought about this main area. We want it to be a flexible space. So when you think about it, think about this vibrant hub filled with neighbors from across sector of our community. So people are going to have, you know, I'm a New York, I came from New York, and I wanted to find a, I wanted to find a space, or create spaces that welcomed all of us. So Milwaukee has been challenged by that. Yeah. And so for me, when you think about visually, what does this look like? It looks like everything that exists, all yeah. the people that exist, being able to have a home and a place to enjoy art and culture here. So we'll have Cody Dance Company, we'll have our Irish dancers here. So really, when we think about what community looks like and having a space that holds all of us, this is the container for that. So yeah. I'm excited. People will be able to eat, so all vendors will be open. And that's one of the significant things, is that there are people, Dance Fest is bringing folks that might not have the opportunity or knew that the Sherman Phoenix is here as loud as we think that we are. Yeah. We know that we're missing a great deal of our community, that they don't know that we're here. Yeah. So this will be a significant opportunity to increase um, our exposure yeah. to neighbors and to increase the possibilities. So our hope is that when we engage the art community, what else can happen? What's next? Mm -hmm. So there's Dance Fest. What, how else can we curate art and community in partnership with No Studios? So I was going to ask you, I love the fact that you're open to activating the space mm -hmm. beyond what it's used for on a day-to-day. -day. You've got this, a beautiful venue for it. Any other ideas of what you'd like to see here? that would help to bring community together. Absolutely. I think one of our biggest things is that we're going to unification. So south side, north side artists. We're going to have DJs. We've had live bands here. We're going to have a Phoenix Fest in which we'll have some national artists come in. So we're working with Gina Belafonte to figure out what does that lineup look like. Yeah. So there's going to be this point where it becomes a res re response. Yeah. So our neighbors will inform us, what does this cultural activation look like? Yeah. We've hired a curator from the community that's going to come in and help us with that. Mm -hmm. But our, our work has always been in response to the desires of the hearts of our neighbors. So we're going to yeah. continue to do that. Yeah. So when we think about what does that look like, it looks like music. It looks like art curation. It looks like a gallery. It looks like you know, all those things that well communities have, yeah. we'll have that here. Yeah, I love it. I can totally see the partnership with no studio. I love it. Do you feel it? I 
feel it. I'm feeling it. it. Awesome. I'm feeling yeah. it. I, hey, thanks so much for spending time with us. Absolutely. I'm hungry, and I see some shoes over there. I see popcorn. I see cookies. I, I got to get yes, started. Get so it going. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to, you know, do a lap I around. Love it. All right. Show them how to do it. All right. Thank okay. you so much. Appreciate it. We're so much looking forward to Dance Fest. And actually, I'm so sorry, but it is sold out. But more to come here at Sherman Phoenix. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. More opportunities.